Hello and welcome to part 1 of this Omnis 4.1 tutorial. Today we will be simulating an automotive manifold. Before we begin with the setup of the simulation, I'd like to briefly discuss the workflow menu, uh, which is a very important part of Omnis. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. And it is meant to guide you through the different stages of your project. It contains five contexts. We are currently in the geometry context, which is highlighted. Um, as we progress through the setup uh, and post-processing of our simulation, we will be switching contexts. This can be done simply by selecting the appropriate context. Uh, in this video, however, we will be working in the geometry context, which is first in line. And the first step is importing our geometry. I will, I will use the import button on the Pi to do this, where I can simply select uh, my STL file and import it. So an STL file is essentially a set of triangles uh, that describe a certain geometry and uh, that is what we're working with today. As soon as you import the model, you can see it in the graphical viewing area. If you'd like to rotate the model, you can left click and move the mouse. Uh, if you would like to translate the model, you can hold the middle mouse button and do the same. It's a good idea to have a look at the triangulation of your geometry after you import it. And this can be done by selecting the assembly in the tree, right-clicking, going to rendering options, and enabling wireframe visibility. So we can now see the triangulation of our model, um, and it's important to ensure that the features of the geometry are well captured. Um, you don't want any high aspect ratio triangles. Uh, this may prevent you from capturing the curvature of your geometry. And you also want to make sure that you don't have any non-manifold edges. In the case of this geometry, uh, none of these apply, uh, so we do not have to do any CAD cleaning. There are tools available in Omnis to do this, uh, but that will be a topic for another tutorial. Now before moving on, I'm going to disable wireframe visibility and close the rendering options menu. The next step is grouping relevant surfaces. Uh, but before I do that, I am going to first expand the manifold assembly in the tree, and I will use the Show All Surfaces button in the Tree Filters menu to do this. So once I click that, I see that my manifold assembly is expanded, and I have several boundaries with one surface inside each boundary. I have three inlets, a wall and an outlet uh, in this geometry, and because the inlet conditions are the same across all of my inlets, um, it will be helpful to be later in the meshing and simulation stages to group the inlets. So I will do that by holding control and selecting the three inlets. Then I will right click and select group. A boundary is then created in the tree, and I can give it a name, press enter to confirm. Next I will select the walls, which is a single surface, group those, and last I will select the outlet, and also create a boundary. So now I have three boundaries, um, and what I can already do is assign the correct boundary types to the boundaries I've just created. And I will do this by selecting the inlet boundary first, and in the properties panel underneath, in the BC type field, I can select the inlet boundary type. Then I'm going to select my wall boundary, which is already a wall boundary type, so that is correct. And last, I will select my outlet boundary and assign 
an outlet boundary type. That concludes the steps for this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.